Is Jeff Cavalier really using fake weights? Let me explain. Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and today we're going to be discussing about Jeff Cavalier and his fake weight usage. Now, before we start, go ahead and give this video a like if you could. It'd be great. Share it with your friends, and most importantly, subscribe. Helps me out a lot. And let's get into it. So, I am a little bit late on this trend. I should have been talking about this a while ago, but I had other videos planned in mind. But we're going to be talking about how Jeff is allegedly using fake weights. Now, is he? Yeah, I would think so. Here's a video of me deadlifting 335 pounds for a rep. Now, watch the way the weight moves. You see that the weights, they want to go downward as I, pr as I bring the bar up. So it shows that there's a lot of weight on the bar, right? Okay, now look at the video of Jeff Cavalier here deadlifting I don't know how much weight it is but I know he was deadlifting a humongous amount of weight and there was absolutely no resistance from the weights whatsoever it looked like he, he, he made it look so easy you know but does this make Jeff Cavalier a bad person does it make him a horrible uh, fitness guru or youtuber as a whole because you know he's one of the biggest youtubers out there the answer is no, it doesn't make him necessarily a bad YouTuber. Um, he's 44 and he has extremely low body fat. We're talking 5 to 6% body fat. And he wants to, to, of course, impress his viewers and get more engagement. That's why he's using them. He's probably not as strong as he used to be. That doesn't make him a bad YouTuber. He's just wanting to get more engagement on his channel. And of course, he does know what he's talking about. He is a certified PT. He has a lot of background on fitness. And the, the advice he gives out, phenomenal. I really like the advice he gives out. He knows exactly what he's talking about. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with him as a fitness YouTuber, okay? But, you know, the way, you know, he was using the fake weights, most people just assume that he is just horrible at fitness and he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's strong. He's probably a lot stronger than me, but he can't probably lift as much as he used to, and that's why he's using those fake weights, just to bring in more engagement. Doesn't necessarily make it a bad thing, because, you know, most people want, and of course me right now, I want more engagement on my channel, right? But, of course, I'm not going to, like, lie about the fake weight usage of, I don't use fake weights. You know, someone, you know, commented on that on my, on my uh, top three best exercises to increasing your bench. Most people thought, okay, well, that's a great video, but there's this one guy, he's just like, ah, oh, fake weights, lol. No, I, I can't bring fake weights into my gym. They don't allow people to bring in their own weights. They, you have to bring, you can bring in your own exercise equipment, but you can't bring in weights because they already have weight plates there, and I can't fake the weights. So, therefore, I was giving 135 as a demonstration. That was absolutely nothing to me. I'm not doing what Jeff Kevlar is doing, but... It makes sense as to why he's doing it because he wants more engagement on his channel. Now, let's talk about the one of the biggest reasons as to why he cannot lift the weight that he probably can't lift that you see in the video. Like I said and stated earlier, he's at 5 to 6% body fat and he talks about how he's very very strict all year round with his diet. And it makes sense, but the one thing that he does once a year on his birthday, he eats carrot cake. I don't know like what his diet consists of. I don't know if it's a very, very strict diet. I don't know if it's like a six meals a day of chicken and broccoli. I don't know what it is. I just know that he somehow maintains that physique all year round with five to six percent body fat. Now, when you actually go, here's the truth about fat loss, by the way. If you go below 10%, it's going to start affecting your strength a lot more. You see, when you're at above 10% body fat, 10% up, you are very, very strong. You're athletic. You know, you know how to lift a lot of weight, right? But once you get into single digit body fat, it starts to impact your strength. And that's why he's at 5 to 6% body fat. And that's why he's probably using fake weights as well. It's because he's not as strong. 
You see, if he were at 10% body fat, he could ideally probably lift those weights. But as of right now, he can't. And here's the reason why. Your muscles are actually feeding off of your fat. That's where they're getting their energy from. And of course, you got to take into consideration the, the fuel that you're using throughout your workout. Like if you're using carbohydrates before you work out, of course, your body's going to use that as a fuel, then the fat. And then if all else fails, then it'll start burning your muscle and your protein lipids. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to talk about this is that he's in single digit body fat. So it's definitely affecting his strength. So if he were not doing that, if he was in 10 to 12% range, he would have that adequate strength. He knows what he's talking about. And you know what? He did lie about his weights. So I would not be surprised if he was lying about something else. He might be on SARMs. He might be on HRT. But, I mean, because that's probably how he keeps his physique probably the whole year round. You see, so when he doesn't have enough muscle, well, not enough muscle, enough fat for his muscle to feed off of, he's not going to be as strong as he used to be. So if he's at 12, 10 to 12%, he would ideally have more strength. Especially if you're above that, you would have a lot more strength because you have more fat for your muscle to feed off of. That just makes sense. So ideally, it is good to be in the 10 to 12% body fat range. You can see your abs and you got strength. But once you go down into single digits, it's going to get a lot more difficult, especially for him, for example. So he's probably on a very, very low dose of HRT. Maybe. I don't know, but it's very very hard to keep his physique all year round and you know what I could be wrong but he could be I mean the way his physique looks is phenomenal very lean veins popping out everything like that but is again at the this is gonna be just the question of the video does this make him a bad youtuber no of course not he's a good youtuber I get a lot of his advice I get a lot of my YouTube advice from him I get a lot of my YouTube advice from other YouTubers, but mainly him because he's a certified PT. But that's going to have to do it for the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the information that I was giving you and spewing out to you. Again, it doesn't make him a bad person. He knows what he's talking about, but he can't lift the weight that he used to. That's why he's using fake weights. It doesn't make him bad at his job. He just wants more engagement, right? And, of course, if you go below 10%, it's going to affect your strength. So that's going to do it for the end of the video, guys. Make sure to give it a like and a share. And again, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.